Of course, the big losers last night were the Tories and the NDP. They not only lost unprecedented numbers of seats, both suffered the humiliation of losing official party status. More now on that, beginning with our chief political correspondent, Joe Schlesinger. The day after the disaster, a brave face. Uh, lots of work to do, and I'm going back to Ottawa to roll up my sleeves and do it. And the inevitable recrimination. The world knows who's responsible, and uh, it's the leader and those immediately around her who advise during the course of an election campaign. They must bear the burden of responsibility. But what happened to the Conservative Party is a little more complicated. True, Kim Campbell and her campaign team showed a talent for shooting themselves in the foot. Is this a prime minister? Does he understand that his plan to allow a deficit each year would increase... The day the uh, Chrétien ads were broadcast, the, the, whole, the whole writing, the Anglophone title writing, went from sympathy on the street to hostility. So we've done some tremendous mistakes. But in a way, the Campbell campaign people were only shooting off the toes. The party's footing had already been undermined during the nine years of Brian Mulroney by the ravages of recession and constitutional failures. We must tonight, as progressive conservatives, but the causes of last night's Tory meltdown go even further back, right back to the foundations of the modern Conservative Party. George Drew, the Ontario Premier, who became the party's federal leader, laid the foundation by building a Conservative machine in Ontario that lasted for more than 40 years. John Diefenbaker's populism added the second ingredient of Tory success, a base in the West. And Mulroney brought Quebec into the mix by attracting Quebec nationalists with the promise of a new constitutional deal. Last night, all three legs collapsed. But that does not necessarily mean that conservatism in Canada is dead. When we look at the popular vote tonight, we see that as many Canadians voted for the Progressive Conservative Party as voted for the Bloc Québécois or voted for the Reform Party. Not quite, but close enough. The Tories who ended up with only two seats did get 300,000 more votes than the Bloc Québécois, which was rewarded with 54 seats. But the Conservatives pulled in 350,000 fewer votes than Reform, which got 52 seats. If the Progressive Conservative Party is on the brink of extinction, conservatism with a small C is not. Between them, the Tories and those other Conservatives, the Reformers, took 35% of the vote. The Liberals, who came back from less than that in the last election, to triumph this time, will have to keep on reminding themselves of that. Joe Schlesinger, CBC News, Ottawa.